Hey, Jack Squad, YouTube family. What's going on? Excuse me. I'm trying to get a little bite to eat. I just got home from work. And I was trying to eat something real quick, but I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I've been thinking about it all day. A sausage sandwich with egg and cheese. I was thinking about it all day. It's 8 o'clock, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, hey, y'all, come on up in here so we can talk about, child, we got to talk about the Diddy's and the Diddy Juniors, right? Hey, Nick. Right. They, um, listen, I had saw earlier, nephew, I had saw earlier uh, that the mother, Misa, had said something, right? Now, I heard they used some type of military force. I didn't know they had beams on them and, uh, and uh, all the stuff they had. It, it looked like military. It did, right? I don't think that was necessary on them boys, right? But, but, Diddy knew they was coming. He knew they was coming. You left your boys out there like that. Uh, you knew they was coming. Um, wait for a few more people to get in here so I can talk about it. Because um, So Misa wrote a post about her lawyers will be seeing, seeing, uh, uh, is it, is it, now is King and Justin the same people? Not Justin, what's the other boy's name? Christian. Is Christian and King the same people? Because I know it's a Christian, it's a King, and it's a Justin. Justin is by Misa, and does she have another one by him? Anyway, she said they lawyers will be contacting whoever they need to contact. Oh, they're separate. So it's a king, a Christian, and a Justin. It's three boys. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought kings look just like puppy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I thought Misa only had Justin by him. Who is, so she had two kids by him? Because one of them kids is by Kim. One of them boys is by Kim, ain't they? Hey, T. Well, anyway, child, the people say, she said, her lawyers, their lawyers will be will be contacting whoever they need to contact or filing suit about that, um, about the way they handled them boys with they had red beams on them like I, I, that was too much that was too much that was too much but i think the bigger picture is excuse me i uh, hope my cousin didi ain't watching the bigger picture is no she only had justin king by kim okay well who is christian by somebody else anyway um, the bigger picture is these white folks is letting Diddy know you ain't all you thought you were. And he knew they was coming. And he should have been there with his boys. That's what I'm going to say. Because he was on the airplane flying around. Hey, Queen. He should have been there with his boy. But anyway, that's that. Misa said that. Earlier I saw that. Now I just turned on my phone. And it says, Christian Coombs, lawyer, the lawyer of the victim, accusing Diddy's son, Christian, of sexual assault. So somebody has accused him of sexual assault. <coughs> and drugging her and she says we have pics of my the lawyer says we have pics of my client's injuries so i don't know how old this boy is christian how old is christian but he is he is being accused of 
the same thing as his dad almost, right? So this is horrible, right? This is horrible. And I don't know what to make of this. And if, let's just say, I don't know, this is allegedly. You put all this up here, allegedly. If this is true, allegedly, that makes Diddy more of a monster than ever because, hey, Sheila, he taught his boys how to do that. Right? They got it from him, right? Is that something you teach your son? No, it's not. Excuse me, I just got in from work. I was trying to get a little bite to eat. No, it's not. And y'all know I ain't got no back teeth, so it's horrible. But anyway, this thing is bigger. Every day it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And worser and worser. That's a word. I made it up. Um. Yes, Sheila, the son, one of the sons, Christian Combs, is being accused of some essay and drugging of, of, of a female, right? That's what he's being accused of. So it's bigger than just Puffy. Now, they did do, to me, they did use a military style force because they went in there, look, they look like soldiers. I ain't, you know, I ain't, now let me say this. Well, I guess Homeland Security, I don't know. Maybe Homeland Security used the Marines or whoever. They look like the Marines or the Navy SEALs. They looked like somebody going to that man's house, right? They didn't look like regular police or sheriffs. I don't know what whom, I guess Homeland Security uses the military, do they? Because that was definitely military. And I kept hearing that, but I saw it for myself. That definitely military forced, right? So, um, the laser beams was not necessary, though. That was not necessary. But I'm telling y'all, and I keep telling y'all, them white folks will let you know you ain't shit to them. You regular. You regular. Care how much money you got. Puffy is a billionaire. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. And they obviously don't care about his sons either. It gets worse, but you see Brother Love is still chilling. Yeah, he is. Uh, they don't. They haven't named her. It's a female, somebody. No, they didn't have to do his children that way. But one of the boys is being accused of something. One of them is being accused of something. Listen, in order for Homeland Security to come to your house, uh, to come, to, it's something. It's something. Something went on more than what we know. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. More than what we know, more than what is said, it's something big. It's something big. Now, is Puffy? Is it? It is more people involved. I, I believe that he he wasn't getting them underage girls for nobody. He was for the invisible people. It's 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 more people involved. And I want to know who those people are, and will they be handled the same way? Is Puffy going to be the fall guy? Uh, what's going to happen? Right. The sons, like I'm, I'm yeah, it's getting worse by the day. It sound like a setup. You think it's a setup? You think the homeland security will waste their time and money on a setup? Who who set him up? Who set him up? Uh, what would be the point of the setup? Right? Um, this is horrible, right? It's all a whole big ball of legal mumble jumbo and it ain't the ditties ain't gonna come out good with this this ain't gonna work out in their favor mm -mm. this is not gonna work out in their favor it's not gonna work out in their favor not 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 puffy no way maybe them boys you know maybe they can prove that he didn't do nothing to that girl and you know all it takes is one all it takes is one and then if they did this this is an if and alleged if this happened to some somebody else, they're going to speak up. Because, you know, a lot of times they say people don't talk about it because 
they ashamed and, and ain't nobody gonna believe them and all this and all that or what was you doing there in the first place all of that accusatory stuff right i hope and pray to god that there are no more victims of these horrific crimes they are being accused of that's what i hope because if it is it's gonna be horrible if it is did he rub some powerhouse the wrong way mm -hmm. well they say they say that that man that black man i can't think of his name again that i watched the, the documentary he was protecting him destroy another black man if they had kept it kept it to Diddy. Okay, but now they're including kids. You think it's strange? You don't think they did that? You don't think they you think that they're innocent and somebody is uh is um the people are framing them, you say, Sheila? That's why you don't allow your dirt out because it will be held against you. But again, but again, he feels like he has always yeah, he's always acting like he was untouchable, and he was for a while until that man left here. He was for a while. And, you know, when I saw that documentary about the man, I was like, oh, he, he connected he connected high-powered people together. But if you knew Diddy was doing all this stuff, you wasn't shit either. That's all I'm saying. You wasn't shit either. If you knew Diddy was doing all this stuff and you was protecting him, I don't understand the protection of a man. My eye ain't doing something right. I don't understand the um the the uh, uh oh yeah I don't understand the uh the, the the holding somebody up in that kind of foolishness. Hey delightful, they mentioned Justin a month ago. Justin, now this one they talking about is Christian. Who Misa's son is the oldest one. That's Justin, right? Then you got Christian, and King is the youngest, am I assuming? So they mentioned Justin, too? Hmm. They was all up in there diddling around. That don't make no sense. That, that, that's, that's... And then... And another question I have. So if Carisha was in there, right? Did she see all of that? She said she when something happened, they accused her of something. She was in New York at the time, so she didn't do something that they said she did, right? But my question is, did you see any of that? Where, where was you at? Where was uh, Cassie at when if they've been doing this a long time? Where was Kim at? Like, where was these people at? Well, you know, uh, R. Kelly case. His wife Drea was in a whole other, was in another part of the house. She never saw these ladies, so she said she didn't see all what was going on. People gonna burn in hell, and just because you wasn't there, hey Angel, they're saying that he essayed and drugged a female. She has a lawyer. This lady, this this young lady, has a lawyer. She was mad about his DUI, and then his name popped up as knowing who was what was going on and helping bring some girl. So that's right. That's right. He was procuring the, the young ladies to bring there. That's right. So tons of stuff, and it's rumored that she's involved. How much money did you have to pay me for me? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be involved in that. First of all, but I could see another woman's pain. I couldn't see a young girl in me. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I could not do that. I could not do that. Wow. This thing getting this, this thing here. Now you know R. Kelly doing 30. What they gonna what they gonna get Diddy if he found guilty? 100 years? Is R. Kelly doing 30? And, you know, he transferred him somewhere and he's doing 30. I want to say they transferred him to North Carolina. Did he live in North Carolina? He didn't live in North Carolina, did he? This thing, this is horrible, y'all. This is horrible. I, I don't even really want to think about it because it's just, it's too, it's too, it's too bad to think about. You know what I'm saying? It's too stupid. Like, how stupid could y'all have been that thought y'all was going to get away with this? Even, this is alleged. If they did this, how long y'all thought y'all was going to get away with this? Forever? You don't, 
I'm good, Lisa Marie. Now, let me tell you something, Lisa Marie. I'm good. I didn't, I didn't use all my pills. I took my last Tylenol 503, what you call them, ibuprofens. I'm done. I'm out. I ain't got nothing, right? <laughs> but I'm okay. I took one did this earlier than while I was at work. It's okay. I just tried to eat a little sandwich. I ate the most of it. I ate the most of it, um, chewing with my gums. But uh, I ain't hungry. Who is Carissa talking about when she said, if I tell him I wanted you down your knees, then you would be on your knees? Carissa, you, who you talking about? Um, Blue face mama or or Carisha? Puffy's ex-girlfriend. Yeah, at least for me, I'm much better today. And now I just got to wait till the... I go at the end of the month so they can um, fit me. And I heard that takes two or three times. I don't know, child, because I want to eat some food. Uh, I'm tired of them soups and sh mashed potatoes and shit. I'm tired of that shit. Right. I just made me a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. I ate the most of it, but it was hard. But um, I get fitted for the for the partials, right? Because that's how you chew back there. You see, this is something you never pay attention to. The these the teeth you chew with. You, you ain't anybody never, you don't pay that shit no attention. You just eat food, right? Those are some critical ass teeth. I'd rather you not have these than not have these. But then if you don't have these, you look horrible. So no, Carisha said to said that to some of my voice recording was leaked with her. Oh, really? She better stop talking. Why are these people talking? Listen, I would go into the darkest place I could find. Um uh, Oh, who who broke up? Wait a minute, what? They find who finally broke up? Who finally broke up and who got another girl right now? Lord, it's so it's too much. It's too much. It's too much, y'all. It's too much. Well, speaking of too much, because I ain't even got to the reality. Speaking of too much, y'all remember that mayor? <clears throat> that mayor in Dalton, Illinois, a little township outside of Chicago. Uh, her name is Tiffany Hinyard, the super mayor. She called herself the super mayor and the city girl mayor. Child, she is just clowning up in there. She is full of power. Power, money, and greed is what's driving this lady, right? Power, money, and greed. Now, she didn't really went viral, right? Everybody know about her all over the country, all over the world. She is not letting the, the, the trustees into the meetings, right? She had a, there's a lady that has a, um, uh, a food pantry for the people that need food. And she was trying to get some additional funding or something. Uh, Tiffany wouldn't give it to her and said the paperwork wasn't right, so on and so forth. So now on Easter the other day, Tiffany gave out some greens and some yams and I guess and some eggs. I didn't see no meat, but maybe she gave us some meat too, right? Anything anybody tries to do, any type of event, she does it. They can't, she won't allow them to do it and she does it. Something is wrong with her. She has a degree too. Something is wrong with her, right? She's running the town like it's her own, like she was inherited and these people work for her. She got the police department in her pocket. She won't allow the board of trustees to do anything that they're supposed to do. She has billboards of herself, of herself, with sayings all over the little township. Billboards of herself. She is full with power. She's an egotistical narcissist. Yes, she is. Oh, was a girl at the house with him? They got a video of Diddy dancing as my mistake, so I think he will get away with everything. He ain't getting away with that. He dancing. That's just, that's just he just clowning. Christian and his long term girlfriend. Oh, Christian had a girlfriend. Oh, somebody named Raven. See, I didn't know these things. Oh, he had a girlfriend. Okay. Okay. So he didn't. But he got a new girlfriend. Uh huh. Raven better get out of there. Raven, you better get out of there. I saw Diddy dancing, but you know, that's just like that other guy. Uh, Lamar Whitehead, they just trying to prove something to us. And we ain't got nothing. You can't prove nothing to us. You be proving it to them people, right? But anyway, this mayor, 
I don't know when an election. I hope they don't have to go through all the way till November to get rid of her. And I thought she was gone. Well, the FBI is there now. FBI is in the township and the FBI is investigating. Uh, she has now they are seven million dollars in debt. They have a seven million dollar deficit. This woman has been spending the money the way she wants to spend the money. Uh, also, <clears throat> she allowed, well, I don't know if she allowed, but she covered up for, uh, I don't know if it was a trustee or somebody that worked for the township, uh, did something to her assistant. They essayed her assistant when they went to Vegas. And she said that she was sitting down eating dinner, had a drink. Next thing she knows, she woke up in this man's bed. She told the mayor about it. The mayor said, I'm going to look into it. The mayor put her on paid leave, and then she terminated her. Something's wrong with this woman because her boyfriend, who is also an sa she hired him. Like, you you surround yourself with these type of people and just think that's cool? He was dancing to make it look like he's okay. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what he was doing, Lisa Marie. That's what he was doing. That's what he was doing. That didn't mean nothing. You get... You ain't get you can't you ain't got to prove nothing to us. You got to prove it to them people. You ain't got to prove nothing to us. Mm -mm. We're gonna sit back and watch. We're gonna see everything that happened. You ain't got to prove nothing to us. But um, this mayor has went totally out of control. Her name is Tiffany Henyard. I could get over the fact that she got billboards of herself all over the city. She has billboards of herself all over the city. That's what she's wasting the taxpayers' money on, and the vendors who put those billboards up want their money and she's not paying them she's just taking the money and doing what she want to do with it I, listen let me tell you what's going to happen to this township Town, township is small let me tell you what's going to happen to this township this happened in to a small city in cleveland east cleveland right it's a, a adjacent it's right next to cleveland right um mostly black but this one was a little more probably a little more affluent than where she had parts of it parts of it was poor and parts of it was regular, it was mixed. And uh, every mayor, this happened in the 80s, started in the 80s, every mayor they had stole from the city because they don't have a fire truck. They don't they, they'll have no infrastructure in East Cleveland, no infrastructure. Now it sits between Cleveland and Cleveland Heights. Uh, initially they was gonna split it up, but nobody wants it. It's so, the city is so badly damaged they have a small police force. They have a police force. They have. They don't have a snow truck. They don't have an ambulance. They have one fire engine. The infrastructure. They. The, the infrastructure is horrible, and that's what's going to happen to this. This. These people, because they're in debt now. They're in debt. Um, this woman has spent all of the money and even some money that they don't have. Right. That's what's going to happen. This is going to be the legacy. She's going. To, she has ruined this village. She has ruined it, right? She has ruined it. And um, I hope she go to jail for a long, long time. I do. Because she keep playing in their face. And then whenever they try to create a bylaw or whatever, she vetoes it. This is what's going to happen. Y'all let Trump in. That's what's going to happen. You ain't going to have no power, no control over shit. And you got to put up with what they put down. This is exactly what's going to happen if Trump gets into office. This woman has ruined this township. The mayor's off the she is. They have to wait. And, and anything they try to pass to block her, she vetoes. She's the she's in charge. And she's also not only is she the mayor, but there's another little piece of the township. She's the supervising manager or some shit, right? And mostly this is mostly black folks, right? And well, the FBI is there now and they investigate. But she talks real smart. And like she has all her ducks in a row and she got all her paperwork, right? In the meanwhile, she's spending these people money. And she won't allow the board. They can't have meetings. Now, I just saw just now before I got on here, this happened last night, today. She has locked the building. She's locked the building. The building's on lockdown. So can't nobody get in the building. Can't nobody get in the building but her and the police chief or whoever she wants to get in there. The board of trustees, they cannot have a whole no. She having private meetings. They can't get in there. She won't let them in. And the people, uh, the other day when they had their meeting, the people was in there. It was full of people, right? And then they left because they said it was too crowded and we need to move it to another venue so everybody can have a seat, everybody can have a room, everybody can voice their opinion. She said, no, we're here now. We're going to do it now. And so the people left because they couldn't, you know, it was not going to be uh, productive, right? 
So they said they're going to have another meeting April 8th. Well, they tried to do something today, and the doors are locked. The doors are locked. She's even locked the people out that work there. The doors are locked, right? This lady then went crazy. She has went crazy. And then how does she think this is going to end? And if let's politics is your career, ain't nobody, you'll never get into politics again. Not at the level you want to be at. Yeah, she locked them out. She locked them out. Yeah, she's ruining it for everybody. But see, the problem is, this is a mostly black. From what I see, it's a mostly black community, right? It's a mostly black community. Did y'all get y'all what Bible? What Bible? Trump Bible. Trump selling Bibles. I thought I saw that, but I thought I was dreaming. He's selling Bibles. Child. That's because all of his, uh, most of his supporters are in the Bible belt. That's why, if he's doing that. Wow, he's selling Bibles. Where he's selling them at on Amazon? Where he's selling the Bibles at, y'all? Where he's selling the Bibles at? He playing with God. Now you playing with God. He better watch out. He better watch out now. See, people get so full of power that they forget who really has the power. Even if you don't believe in God, there's a there's a higher power than you. There's a higher being than yourself, right? Oh, wow. Where he's selling the Bibles at, y'all? On In Timu or Amazon? $59. $59. So do he, what's his, what's his online? Where, where you getting them from? Trump.com? People, see, the power, money, power, greed, all that messes people up. All that messes people up. And he's selling $59. Is that the going price for a Bible? I got a lot of Bibles. Is that, I ain't almost think I ever paid that much for them. Oh, wow. Y'all listen. Jesus is going to have to come on down here. He's going to have to come because they clown. There's too much clownery going on. I ain't finished all the stuff I want to do. I ain't ready to go take them because I ain't ready to go. Uh, but it's too much foolery going on. Yeah, I got lots of Bibles, but it's, it's, I, I wouldn't buy no Bible from Trump. Why he selling Bibles? Why is that? He's selling tennis shoes. Ain't he selling tennis shoes or something, too? Oh, to pay his legal fees. So who going to buy the Bible? Who buying the Bibles? He do better off asking for donations. And you, you spent all that money on Bibles? He's stupid. See what I'm saying about stupid? He's Not only is he a racist, but he's stupid. He's stupid. That's, that's the part. Forget all the racist stuff. You racist, there's a whole bunch of folks, racist, undercover, racist, all that. He's stupid. He's too stupid to run a country. That's my part. Always been my point. He's too stupid to run a country. His supporters will. They're going to buy up all the Bibles neat. <laughs> I can't. I can't, y'all. I can't. Um, right, let me get a sip of water. It's too much. Anyway, y'all, on to the reality TV. So I had missed about three episodes of Bold and Bougie just because it wasn't giving me nothing. And I quite frankly forgot about it. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It ain't coming back. I don't think it's coming back. But the girl, Gauche, Gauche has good business sense. But Gauche, is something wrong with her? Because uh, she was the same way on L.A. hair when she was doing hair. She was the same way, right? Can, couldn't get along with nobody. She got she's always something with somebody. Uh, and when you on an ensemble cast, I think it's important that the people get along. It just makes sense. Trump tennis shoes. Then I don't think he's gonna get a. Uh, what do you owe them? Five hundred million. I don't think he can sell five hundred million worth of Bibles. Y'all think? But, and, you know, the people that was down with him, they said they ain't giving him no money. That's Corey's girl. Uh, is is Gauche Corey's girl, nephew, you still in here? Is that his girl? It probably is, because, you know, he always with the ops. But Gauche has got a problem. She's got a problem because she keep, you know, Usher's wife, what's her name? 
what is her name? I can't think of her name right now. Whatever her name is. She was on another reality show too, but she didn't, you know, she was fine. What is her name? I can't think of her name right now. Miss Usher. We're gonna call her Miss Miss Raymond, right? Um, she was fine on the other show. Gaucher, on the other hand, keep picking at her. Why I don't know. Uh, if you know somebody the way they is, and you said you was gonna be there. If everybody ain't going to come to your event, people be doing other shit. And she started picking on the girl princess because princess just come. Princess was doing something for herself. What's more important, what I got to do or what you got to do? For me, it's what I got to do. I don't know why people don't understand that. The Bible is made from the Bible sales by law. I'm not sure what all it is. What? Olive oil is who she remind, who reminds you of olive oil? Tamika. Yeah, that's her name, Tamika. That's right, Tamika. Who is olive oil? <laughs> who is olive oil? Go say. Not go say any olive oil, I know. But um, she she was like that on um LA hair. She could never get along with the group. She remind you of olive oil. I kind of like Tamika because Tamika is it is what it is. Matter of fact, I, I like her out of all of them. Let me see. I like Princess is okay. She's fine. Tamika was fine. Crystal, now she was on a show. She's trying to change her image, but she wasn't, she was the mean girl on her show as well. I just came in with show that was. She was on all of them been on reality shows except for Princess. And I watched them. But um, who else they got on there? Gaucher. I can't remember who else. But I tell you who creeps me out is Malaysia's friend. I think she's the one that owned the strip club, the Ace of Diamonds, Diamonds of Spades, Ace of Spades, whatever it's called, Diamonds of whatever. She's a little creepy to me. Yeah, I like Tamika. I like Tamika. You know, she's it is what it is. And, and people do be busy. People do be busy. People do run late. She live far. But when get because see the thing about Atlanta is right, all those cities that surround it, they are far from each other. They are far. This take you 45 minutes. I used to drive 45 minutes an hour to get to work from Decatur to Atlanta, right? Um, so it is far. Stuff is far away. The church I went to that I really, really liked was in Powder Springs. That was 35 minutes away. Shit is far. This is the way it's set up. Um, so people say they don't want to drive that far, they don't because you got to get up. Like, I didn't really like driving on the freeway all the time because they don't know how to drive. So I would drive through the city, so it would take me longer than anybody else because I'm going through the city, right? Um, it just depends on which direction I was going on if I would get on the freeway or not. And then it, it's just daytime, nighttime, ain't no lights, you know. And like, it is far, you know what I'm saying? It is best. And the way Atlanta and all the surrounding areas are designed. You don't have to leave out your little area for shit. You can stay right in your area, never go to none of them other little cities, none of the little suburbs. You never have to go because everything you want is right there. Everything. That's the part I like about it. You ain't got to you can go five minutes this way, that way, that way, that way. Everything you want to do. You ain't got to go to them other places. You don't have to unless it's for an event. You ain't got to go. And the reason why I chose to live in Decatur was because it's close to down. It was a straight shot to downtown. Even if I didn't want to get on the freeway, it was a straight shot. Because all them other places are far. They're far. It is far. It's a, that's, Atlanta is a huge area. Huge area. Um, but I like Tamika. You know, Tamika is older than them, and she told them. I'm older. You know, you think differently after 50. You just think differently. You just do. Right? You just do. You just think differently, you know? Um, uh, hey, India. So I just, you know, I just, uh, I like them, right? But they just don't, they didn't all blend together. They didn't blend together because really, Malaysia got her dude. That's nice. Malaysia didn't seem like she fit in there. I don't know. Crystal didn't either. They, they, they just didn't fit. I like them all, but they just didn't fit. That's all I can say. They didn't fit. And then quit recycling the same people we've been seeing. Give us some fresh new people. Give us some fresh new people. We know all of them. Everybody done been married to, a, to, to an entertainer, athlete. Give us some fresh new, give us some regular rich people. You know, like they don't have to be in the entertainment industry. They don't have to be in the um, in the sports. Just give us some regular wealthy black people in Atlanta. Everybody want to 
base they show in Atlanta. Give us some wealthy or almost wealthy or middle class. Uh, that could be the problem. Give us some middle class, not upper. Just give us some regular middle class people that's got regular lives. Let's do that. That might be more interesting. That might be more interesting. Because people don't be wanting to tell their business and they be wanting to hide. Like now they say it, Crystal. I ain't heard that on Love and Hip Hop. But they say Crystal was messing with Safari. Why is everybody messing with Safari? We all know what you're going to get. You know what you're going to get when you mess with Safari. Nothing but dick. That's all you're going to get. He's having a good time. He's a good time dude. Why would you mess with Safari? And from what I understand, he got a giant thing. I don't want nobody with no anaconda. But anyway, maybe some people do. But uh, anyway, it's something about my glasses that's irritating me today, y'all. They've been irritating me all day. I've ordered me some new glasses from Zila. I can't wait till they get here. It takes about three weeks. But these, I, I don't know. I ain't put no uh, tint on them either because you can't see my eyes. Look like I might be partially blind or some shit. But anyway, let me get off the glasses. Um, you know, I'm still I'm still getting myself together with my life changes, y'all. So don't mind me, okay? Don't mind me. Um, what else we talking about? What else we talking about? Oh, I watched. Now, listen. I watched uh, Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion. Uh, I don't know if I watched it all. I can't remember if I watched it all or not. I think I did. Did I? The first one? I think I did. I don't know if I watched it all or not. But I didn't like I didn't like the fact that Giselle, Giselle always want to be a victim. She always want to be a victim, right? I don't like her. And uh, I don't like her. And she said all the stuff and she got death threats because of what Candace said. Why does she want Candace to be the villain so bad? Anybody with good sense. Now, when the next group of girls get on here, don't try to be Giselle's friend, because she don't know how to be a friend. She don't know how to be a friend. And the only reason why she probably Robin's good friend is because Robin do do what she wanted to do. Um, Giselle said she's been getting death threats. Okay. That's what kept her on, probably kept her on the show this season, because she said she was getting death threats. Right? Wait, Angel said, I saw that Biden had a fundraiser the other day with Obama and Clinton and raised the most money ever raised. Really? Ooh, that sounds good. Even though I just I do think Biden is too old, but he, that's our that's our only choice. What I don't understand with this politics game is that why is nobody else available, eligible, willing to step up and run for president? I, I don't understand that. Y'all all up in the Senate, the Congress and all them people, mayors and shit. Why, why? Why nobody, why is Biden our only hope? Why? If she can if she can get death threats, then she should have. Oh, she, had to, she was at the MGM? Is that where you saw her at? The MGM casino? Who she, is that where you saw her at? She had all that makeup, or you saw her again? Because she's just full of shit, that's why. That's when you saw her with all that makeup on, she was at the casino. Who is she with, T? Who is she with? By herself? I know she went by herself. And I well, she, I know she went with that young dude. Because I, I just they don't even look like they go together. Yeah, Safari is definitely for the streets. Like, I don't even know. Everybody want to give him some. Everybody want to have sex with Safari. Like, let that go. And speaking of Safari, I watched Love and Hip Hop Miami. It's a couple of girls. They, they're Haitian, right? Gael. And what's the sister name? I don't know. But the sister Gael is evil as shit. And she didn't have sex with her sister's husband, her nephew's daddy. Now she didn't supposedly had sex with the sister's girlfriend, who the sister was going with. And now she's trying to have sex with, what's her name? I'm a, I'm a writer. What is her name? I'm a, not Amarosa. What is her name? Al Amada. Amada's baby daddy. Right in her face. She's so evil. Oh, I can't stand her either. She's so evil. Oh, what you say? R.F. Kennedy Jr. is running. 
But I, Robert Kennedy said, okay, as an independent because he couldn't get back of Democrats. Well, the Democrats need to pull together and find out who you want to back besides old ass Biden. Damn. She is definitely for the streets. Whatever. She still, so she, listen, at first I was thinking like, is she, is they just playing? Because this, because Gael, want, not Gael, what is the sister to flow? Flo want Gael to go everywhere with her. Why do you want your sister to go everywhere with you when you know don't nobody like her? She causes confusion. There's not been a time she went anywhere and then some shit didn't start. There's not been one time. What happened to her? Why is she so evil like that? And why is she so hateful against your sister? Then you want to be with her. That's some weird shit. I don't know if somebody messed with them or something, but they both are weird. And then Flo was trying to mess with Safari. Why y'all all won't have some? Why y'all all want Safari? He ain't gonna like you after he hit you. He ain't gonna like you no more. Robert Kennedy, what? Is thrown off. What you mean he thrown off? What you mean, Denise? Yeah, but uh, Gael, I don't even like her name, Gael. See, that's why she, because her name is wrong. I don't like that name. felt like it's mispronounced or something. It's like a mispronounced name of something else, right? Gael is sleeping with everybody. And she don't care. She told um, Amada, y'all said y'all ain't together. Like, what kind of sense did that make? And everybody was with their mouth open like, what? Oh, why did y'all invite her? But I guess Mona told them everybody because everybody there. And Mona said, you know, we're going to have a girl's trip but all the men going to come. Everybody come. Come on to the girl's trip. This ain't really a girl's trip. Mona be doing them cheap style. But even though they be going to different tropical countries though but still uh i just don't like gael gael and flo don't make no sense on the show period because we ain't never heard of him i guess in miami you know him but we ain't ever heard of him flo husband is a cheater he cheat and have sex with everybody with his cute self um she does tell people business she i'm telling you she like a tornado everywhere gael goes is some shit Everywhere, every event, every incident, and she just stand there and look crazy. And I don't care. Like somebody really need to whoop her, right? I, I don't care. I don't like Gael. I and I never last year I said, Oh, she's she just messy. She's messing with her sister husband and all. I thought that was awful. But now they all gay like that's I don't I don't get that part. And the girl come and then they look get looking in each other's eyes and they start kissing, like I'm so sick of seeing that shit, right? I'll tell you somebody else to get on my nerves on there, on Real Housewives, I mean, on Love and Hip Hop Miami, is Shay. Shay get on my nerves. Shay get on my nerves. She say the ugliest shit to people. Now, don't nobody, I'm going to see how she feel because nobody wants to be around her. Nobody wants to be around her because she said what she said about Liza's dad. And then she tried to flip it and say, no, you, I'm talking about your sugar daddies. No, you meant her daddy. That You said it to hurt her. That's what you did. Nobody wants to be around you, Shay. Who is Chantel Freedom? Freeman, who is that? Yes, yeah, she do have a dark soul. Shay, she do. And Shay been on reality for years, years and years and years and years and years. But for some reason, she can't get right. And she always picked dudes that are unattainable. Like they said, that dude, she got the baby by FUBU. Um, Fudo, whatever his name is, he got a wife. He stayed in a whole nother state. Why is you, you know, and I don't know why women think that they such a thing that they could take somebody's man from him. He gonna do the same thing to you. Look at Portia. He may spend a little time with you, take some pictures with you and all that, but he gonna do the same thing to you. Oh, he's mentally challenged? Oh, he's an anti-vaxxer? Oh. Oh. I don't get the people that are anti-vaxxers. I mean, if you don't want to get it, that's cool, but don't be against it. Who is Chantel Freeman? I need to know who that is. I don't know who that is. But, um, you know, Shay gets on my nerves. Now, Shay, uh, Amada, what, what I don't understand is these ladies won't, you, you was my friend and you ain't my friend. and uh, That's so tiresome and so draining, right? Shay come there and uh, she want Amada to do what she want to do. She ain't never forgave Amada for leaving her brother. She didn't want that sorry derby hat wearing clown. She didn't want him. She wanted dude who he had a wife. 
Like, y'all don't be knowing these dudes have wives. If he don't take you over his house, he got a wife. It's real simple. You said you didn't know Amada. Now, you supposed to be slicker than that. You wanted to mess with him because you thought he was cute. Then he don't like black women. Even though Haitians and Cubans and Dominicans, they come in all different colors, he don't like the black ones. He don't like the black ones. And he said, with your black ass, I would never, ever talk to him again. Pandering to Christians and black folks. Who is? Who's doing that? Yeah, I would never talk to him again. Am I, am I, when he said that to her and hurt her feeling, I, I wouldn't cry. I wouldn't shed that another tear either. I wouldn't. But the friend told you he didn't like black women. He was just using you to get on. That's quite evident. When he got there around all the people, he dancing and kicking in with everybody else to make her to make her upset. But on the preview, my main man is coming to say today. Safari is coming and look like he's gonna ask Amada to marry him. You know, they, they just they just doing anything for TV. But I'm glad that he's coming because Amada was over there crybaby. And now let's see how baby daddy feel that somebody's interested in her. And I like that. Who is y'all talking about pandering to Christians and black folks? Robert Kennedy Jr. And who is Chantel Freeman, Lisa Marie? I need to know who these people are. Let me see. Let me Google her, Chantel Freeman. Who is she? Who is she? Now, tonight, my real good show come on tonight. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. In fact, I don't think I watched it last week. Did I watch it last week? Because Mama D doing all kind of stuff to Bambi. Chantel Freeman. Let's see who she is. Who is she? Still ain't telling me who she is. Surviving Chantel Freeman. Who is she? What she do? Y'all tell me who Chantel Freeman. Sounds like a long story, but put it in search. Her interview and the and the Tasha K did an interview with her father, brother, stepmom. Is this the girl that said her father was having sex with her? Is this who she is? Cause ain't nobody telling me what and her dad and her brother. I believe her dad and her brother had sex with her. See, I ain't been on I ain't been on TikTok because I go down a rabbit hole and I just ain't had time. Chantel Freeman full story. Okay, I'm gonna check her out and we'll talk, we'll discuss her tomorrow. Oh, okay. Her father and her brothers. What kind of family is that? Ooh, Lord. I don't even see how a daddy could look at his child and be like, oh, I don't, I don't even understand that part at all. He is definitely pan Who is pandering, y'all? Y'all ain't told me who's pandering. Is it Robert Jr. or Donald Trump? Is it Donald Trump? Lisa, you don't know if you believe her. I'm going to check her out maybe tonight. But see, if I get on TikTok, I'll be on there for shit till four in the morning. And I'm really upset with TikTok because they, they muted all of my dancing videos. That's the whole point of me being on TikTok so I can dance. She wow. So where am I going to see the interviews at? On TikTok? Who interviewed? The Tasha K? The Tasha K interviewer? Who are who, who who what interviews? On YouTube. Are interviews on YouTube? Who interviewed on YouTube? Let me put her in YouTube. Let's see. It looks like it's Tosh K interviewed her. Oh, I just missed something. I just saw something. Who was that on TikTok? YouTube. Chantel Freeman. I don't believe it unless you get on Good Morning America. I need Gail King to interview you. Chantel Freeman. Let's see. Oh, oh, I don't know 
know if I can pick watch this either. Uh, that's sickening. It say I the first line say father from age five to fifteen, five years old. Is he in jail? Oh, this girl Kimmy's world got the same background. I got. <laughs> Is he in jail? Huh, I don't know if I'll be able to check that out, but I'll try. Breakbeat media interviewed her first. Natasha K interviewed. She interviewed the dad and the brother. They don't get a say. Took down one of mine today from 2020. Took down one of your what? Uh, videos? What they take down? Who? What they take down? T. Breakbeat Media interviewed her first, and Tasha K interviewed the Dana brother. Now, the, the interview from Tasha K is that visible, or do you have to be a member of her group to see it? What did the dad? Did you watch the interview, Lisa? Marie? What did the dad and brother say? What they have to say? Lord, what? Oh, here goes something with Tasha K. Oh, that's look like the daddy. Mm -mm. They never found him guilty or her credible. Her stories are so outlandish. Oh, are they? My videos when I was in the car. Oh, I remember when you was in the car. They said my music was against policy because it belongs to someone else. Well, why do you have so why do they have the option for music? That's the part I don't understand. All of those songs that I used come from the option. I, I didn't understand. And other people were using them. That's where I got the song, the dances from. Other people was doing the dance. Like that CeeLo. Like the CeeLo song. Everybody was doing the dance off that song. It belonged to someone else. So we can't use nobody's music no more. Huh? Huh? Cause that's one another reason why I ain't been on TikTok. Cause I was disgusted when I discovered that all my all my dancing videos was muted. I ain't no, I ain't got nothing to do on TikTok. I could get on there and talk, but I'm I'm putting all my time in the YouTube right now. So I don't have time for TikTok. You have to need time for that. Dance, you can just set the camera up, do a little dance, go on about your business. I don't like to TikTok to dance. So they never found him guilty. And her stories are so outlandish. The dad's interviews open on YouTube with Tasha K interviewed her afterwards, and that's on her website. Okay. Yeah, I think I found the dad with Tasha K. I think I found that. I'm gonna check it out. But I want to see what she got to say first before I watch that one. Oh wow. I don't, you know, my stomach is not really that strong enough to listen to children being hurt and um molested. Can I use molested on here? So I'll try to give it a try. Um, but my my constitution ain't that strong for that. Oh wow. Now, let me tell y'all something. Speaking of that, I remember when I was growing up, it was a family, and it was, and I couldn't fathom it because I didn't know that this type of world existed, that the dad was messing with them. Now, I always thought there was people just lying, like because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fathom that a dad would do that to his daughters. Just, but now it seemed like it's everybody, a lot of folks that got hurt by their dad, but I just couldn't fathom that that you know, because they look so normal, you know, the people look so normal, you know. I just couldn't fathom that that's, that was going on uh, in somebody's house. And you got to go in that house every day. And then, every, you know, what I don't, when, when, when ladies say things happen to them as a kid, what I don't understand, what I don't understand is a grown man, you a kid, he coming and bothering you. First of all, it hurt for me as a grown woman to have sex or intercourse, right? A child whose body is not formed, I could, that's uh, that's that's like too much for me, right? And a grown man will put himself into a child, and she's not formed, and she do she she not screaming like I, I, that's too much for me to to think about. 
Yeah, it's very gross. It's very gross. And for the man to be your daddy, like what kind of sick motherfucker is you that you looking at your daughter in that kind of way? You look at your daughter and your, your penis get hard. What kind of shit is that? That's some sick. That's so super sick. I can't even fathom it. Yeah, it's even worse. Yeah. And then how do you, as the mother, um, reconcile that? You know, you got to go kill him. Oh, well, I can't say it. You got to go do something to him, right? Where's her mother? Where, where this girl mother, Chantel Freeman? Where her mama at? Or did mama was gone? She would say, Jesus, have mercy. Yeah, that's all I can do is have mercy. Where is the girl's mother at? Mm. With all that said, I got to see his interview. I'm having a really hard time believing her. I'm going to watch her interview first. I'm probably going to watch it tonight. I don't know. Tonight my shows come on. Tammy, come on. Love Hip Hop Atlanta, come on. What's that other show? Oh, I don't know if the Oval come on. I think they might be off for the season. But uh, that uh, true crime story, I, for some reason, don't seem like I finished watching uh, Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. And maybe I did. I don't know. Evidently, nothing didn't happen. The mom lost custody of the kids because she was a mess, extremely abusive to them. Oh, so they come from crazy. Okay. Hmm. See this, y'all. That's why in my case, yeah, you know, I ain't had no mom and daddy and all that shit, but the one saving grace is nobody touched me. Nobody touched me, and I was prime and ripe for the pickings. People tried, but nobody touched me. Nobody touched me. Because that got to be a hell of a thing to live with. And then they always say that, that a lot of times that women who have been touched when they were a kid, they become promiscuous, 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 and, you know, they have a lot of issues, you know. If anyone has T-Mobile, check your T-Mobile Tuesday offering six months free Apple TV for Hulu. One year free AAA. What? I got T-Mobile. Today is T-Mobile Tuesday, ain't it? Where my T-Mobile thing at? Now, that's good information right there, my T-Life. T-Mobile Tuesdays got so good, they got their own app. They ain't on T-Mobile no more. You get to get T-Life. Y'all can't see that. T-Life. Free Whopper or Impossible Whopper. What? Let me get that. I'll get that. Save to my stuff. Got to use it by Tuesday, April 9th. Okay. Probably ain't going to be able to do that. But All right. Now, let's see. You said what now? It's free, AAA. AAA. Hold on, let me go back to home. Home. I don't see it, T. See, I got Hulu. I had Apple TV with my TV, but I took it off. I didn't want to pay for it. So I would like to have Apple TV and and one year free AAA? You get Apple TV and AAA? Hold on, they doing too much. Hold on, I don't see it. Where is it? I don't see it. Offers, I don't see it. I do not see nothing on here about no AAA. Or no, uh, am I paying for what? Am I paying for Hulu? Yeah, I'm paying for Hulu. I've been at Hulu for so long. Yeah. I pay for Hulu. T-Mobile Tuesdays. Okay, here we go. I'm looking for AAA. One year. What you say? On us for a year. How to activate. Let's see. Okay, thank you for that. I ain't even got a car, and I'm trying to get AAA, but I need to try to get it into your Okay, I'm going to do that. Thank you. Are you. Yeah, I'm paying for Hulu. Then you can swing and get one for free. Get what for free? Then you can switch it over and get for free. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I pay for Hulu. 
But I might I pay for Hulu. But I did have Apple TV. Apple TV didn't really have that much on it. I don't know why people paying for that. But they might have a show every now and then. Because when I got my TV, um, I had it for the 30 days. Well, however long you have it for. I might still have it because I see like it was six months. But I got to make sure I take it off to the home charge before it. Apply the oh, so you can either apply to the current your current membership or roll it anew. Okay, all right, then that's good advice, T. Good advice, cuz good advice. You just signed up. Okay, I'm gonna sign up myself. I ain't even got a car. I'm gonna sign up for the AAA though, because you need AAA, especially down here. I ain't got no I was also paying for Hulu and switched it over for the Okay, okay, okay. Woo, that was good information, y'all. Good information. All right. Now, tomorrow, y'all, let me tell you what we're talking about. Thursday is going to be members. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about... Oh, shit. I'm so clumsy all the time. Luckily, they didn't get on nothing. God damn. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. God damn. Oh, so clumsy. Um, we're gonna talk about. Hold on, I gotta make sure don't nothing get wet. Okay. Okay. We're gonna talk about. Um, I don't know how did that? Let's just move this shit. We're gonna talk about. Um, would you, Jake? A man or a woman uh, from the prison system. You know, if they've been in the prison system, would you date them? Let's say he doing well, he doing fine. Would you date him? Would you consider dating a man from the prison system? That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. I got some notes here, y'all. I'm just looking at it. I might have to throw them away. I got shit in my way right here. Yeah. Would you date Would you date somebody coming out the prison system? I didn't see the free Apple TV, but I'm going to keep looking. Oh, look up entertainment. Okay. Okay. Look under entertainment. Oh, they got sections. Okay. I'm excited about the AAA and the uh, Apple TV. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay, yeah. So um, that's what's gonna be tomorrow, y'all. I hate I did that, but it didn't, nothing didn't get wet. Okay, uh, that's what we're talking about tomorrow, y'all. Would you date somebody from the prison system? And then Thursday is members, right? And I got to, we got to figure out something for the members. Y'all send me some information. Y'all send me something what we what we need to discuss on the members, right? It shows Hulu, Netflix, and Apple TV. Now, I pay for Netflix and Hulu. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks for that information, T. Um, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow at 8. I need, let me let y'all, let me tell y'all, I am progressing in my situation with my book. It's moving along, y'all. It's moving along. We're going to discuss that Thursday, that little piece, that little tidbit, right? But y'all email me or inbox me or text me or whatever what we need to discuss, something that we can't talk about on regular, okay? All right. I think that's it because I got to I gotta uh, take my clothes off. <laughs> All right. See y'all tomorrow, Jack Squad.